create a beautiful hi everyone in this video I'm going to create a beautiful autumn nail with beautiful autumn colors and using a 3d French technique with 3d flower petals so I've already buffed the surface shine off this nail and I'm gonna start by using the Mia secret uh, cover beige beautiful beautiful natural looking color with a little bit of shimmer so it's very very pretty I'm gonna go ahead and use three beads for this nail bed because I decided I wanted it to be a little bit longer and I need it to be a bit higher because I'm gonna be doing some 3d petals and to get that 3d French look you need to have some height so you get those shadows in there. It's really cool. I'm kind of excited for fall. Spring and fall are my favorite seasons. In the spring, the flowers start blooming and the leaves come in on the trees and it smells so pretty. And in the fall, the colors just turn these beautiful golds and oranges and the smell of fireplaces going. It just, it's just wonderful. I know there's a lot of pressure out there to create a nail by using one bead or two beads and covering the whole nail in one shot. and. You really don't have to stress on that. It's totally up to you. So just create your design the way that you want to. Use as many beads as you want to, as long as it's what you're comfortable with. And don't fall into the pressure of having to do it like somebody else, just because they tell you that that's how it's supposed to be done. So you see the edges, they are filed as sharp as I could get them. I have some height here that'll make room for the petals. I'm going to use this cute little uh, gel paint brush. Actually, I love this set and there's a link for this in the description box below. And it's actually very, very handy because at the other end, um, I think you can see it, it's got a dotting tool. So, and they're different sizes, different lengths of brushes. It's really nice. So I just painted around the sides of the nail bed and I extended the color out a little bit because I'm going to create the 3D French effect and when I put the clear on, I'm going to bring it almost to the edge of the paint. It doesn't really have to be at the edge. The flower petals that I'm going to put on next is they're going to cover what's left over of the color. But otherwise, if you want to be more exact, get them exactly even. As you can see, the edges are very, very crisp and I'm ready to build my 3D flowers using this awesome Mia Secret White. And this is my absolute favorite because it's very smooth and I don't have any problems with it at all. I want the petals to be up high as well so I doubled up on the beads here and I want the walls of the petals to be high so that I have when I put the other color around the sides of the petals it gives it more definition when I do put the clear on top. It 
got all the petals done. Now I'm using this very, very beigey neutral color to paint along the sides and on the base of the nail. So when I put the clear on, it's going to have this deep shadowy look to it. It's just awesome the way this turns out. I'm going to apply the Mia Secret Clear, also one of my favorites because it's very clear and it's easy to work with. I put it on really wet at first to get it in the cracks and crevices of the flower so I don't have a lot of bubbles in there. I actually ended up with a bubble on one of the petals, but eh, you can't really see it and I didn't notice it before it was too late, but otherwise you can just kind of pop it before it cures, before the acrylic cures. So I'm just going to outline the flower petals with this clear and um, I can't really file in these small areas, but um, I'll do what I can. I hope I like how it turns out. There we go. So I am going to use this very pretty gold color from OPI to line the edges of the clear that I just applied. And I want to bring it up to the top, but I don't want it to go over. If it does, um, then I'll just wipe it off uh, before, before I cure it. I'm glad I decided to go with the gold. I wasn't going to originally. I was just going to stick with the two colors, but I love the way this looks. Now I'm going to apply more clear. And I'm going to take this just to a point. I'm not going to follow the shape of the flowers on this one. Um, I'm just going to make it um, kind of follow the shape of the nail bed. So this one I can file and get it as sharp as I can uh, before I apply the color to it. Now I'm going to put this dark on the same dark that I used. It's very, I, I don't have a color name. It's just a, a dark uh, burgundy brown. Let's just call it that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for fall. So I'm going to put this all around the sides of where I put that clear and all the way down to the free edge because this is the finishing touch as far as the acrylic and the gel go. And my final coat of clear when it comes to the 3D French part. I really love the illusion of the 3D French. It's actually not even an illusion. It's really creating shadows inside the acrylic. It's just an awesome technique. And so I have uh, filed and buffed and I'm going to be using this Mia Secret finishing gel. So far, it's turned out really, really good. There you go. I have decided to use the gold again um, because I didn't really like how it turned out where I shaped the clear to the petals. Um, it's just a little rough. I couldn't really get in there to file, so I'm going to use this beautiful gold to do some line artwork.
This originally wasn't part of my plan to do this, but as long as there are options when you're not quite happy with the turnout of one thing or many things when you're creating a nail, you can always be creative and try to, yeah, I don't want to say cover it up, but basically that is what I'm doing. And it turned out pretty good. I actually think it should have been part of my plan. So these little pearls, fake pearls, of course, they're actually stickers. And um, I didn't realize until I was done cutting all of these that I could have just popped them off of these the glue. Um, that it would have been easier to do it that way. I, I thought about it, but I was like, oh no, it's going to be hard getting them off of this. But actually, I found out accidentally when they started popping off uh, after I had already cut several of them. So, but anyway, they're, they're really cute. And I thought, you know, I could put some glittery, shimmery bling on here, but I just love how these pearl looking stickers ended up against the colors that I used. I just think they're they're perfect. So I'm using a gem glue instead of using the top coat like I usually do to adhere the gems except on a real person. I definitely you need something stronger. Um, this gel or a poly gel would do just fine. Some people just use a builder gel which I've done before. Uh, the, I don't like a real lumpy looking nail so it depends on the type of gems I'm putting on what I want to use to adhere them so I'm going to start with this one here and I'll be right back okay this is super cute, beautiful fall colors. I have links in the description box below for everything I used in this video except the pearls which I got at a craft store. Thank you so much for watching.